Welcome to FA Channel. We're all about celebrating art, new technology, and creativity. Recently, I've been playing around the VR chat. I've been exploring the VR chat, trying to socialize with people as new friends. And I can't stop realize one thing. There are so many kids out there. They feel so relaxed just to talk to people and running around like crazy. It's like it's it's so easy for them to pick up all these te new technologies and then it got me thinking what the world will be when they grow up it must be really helpful for some of the parents right now to think about how to use different ways to engage with them learn how to and give them more interactivities to be educated and entertained at the same time so in this video, I really want to share some of my favorite apps and projects that could could be very could be very interesting to play with your kids and learn at the same time. The first app I want to introduce is called Raka Ga Gaki AR. Sorry if I spelled it wrong. It's an app that can turn any of your drawing from the paper into a 3D object, and it also can animate it. I think this is. This is like a pre-version of toothbrush to me and it's it's also remind me of one of the this installation i've seen in a shopping mall in tokyo this year i remember in this shopping mall the kids are um, drawing on the screen and then right away whatever they draw will be animated projected on the wall and right in front of them and then they will go and using the blocks and different different kind of object to interact with the drawing they have. I think for kids that's really engaging the senses and give them the, the three dimension um, sense that whatever they do is not really just on the paper anymore. Second one is about using augmented reality apps to tell the story. There's one app called Wonderscope. Even for me, this app Wonderscope is really fun to play with because it gives you a spatial story. So if you use your phone, to see the story unfolded by itself, but all the animated um, characters is very immersive. It, you you can see through your phone that all these animations and everything is popping up, and kids can explore into the world with their imagination. Again, it gives you another dimension dimension of imaginative world that you, kids can explore and learn. It's not just about reading the story anymore. They can actually see it happen and they can interact with it. Definitely give it a, give it a try and, and I'm sure kids will love it. It also remind me one of another app. It's, a, it's an app that changed history textbooks from a male character into a, a female hero character. This app's name is Her Story instead of History. So they use argument reality to change the character of a um, male um, politician or some great characters in the history and giving another layer of story changing to a female character. This is such a great creative way to show to kids that there is more than just one perspective of history. I find it very innovative and fun. And the last thing I want to talk about is very experimental and it's kind of like a DIY concept is using projection mapping to tell a story with animation that you can do with your kids. We've created this Instagram post teaching uh, people how to, how to make a simple projection mapping. And if you're interested, we'll put the link in the description. Basically using a projector and project any kind of on any kind of shape. I think we eat, we used the Easter egg, so we put the, the egg on the egg, egg tray, and then we project an animation on top of it. All you need to do is using editing software like After Effects, Premiere, and you crop it out to the shape of the egg, and then just project any kind of animation you want onto the, the egg shape. And the whole process, you can do it with your kids and make them understanding the digital, the relationship between digital and the physical. 
The most important thing about playing with kids using interactivity and immersive experience is to help them develop a sense of 3D and virtual and make them feel excited and explore more with all their senses. I hope this video can be helpful for some of you and if you tried any of the app or doing a project mapping, if you feel you, if you have any questions, you can join our Discord group and we can have we can get the we can get the conversation going. Thank you so much for watching. Please let us know if there's any questions or comments. Please subscribe our channel if you want to see more videos coming up. Uh, I'm looking forward to see you next time. Bye.